phase um, of the, the overall retreat sessions, uh, teaching sessions. Um, <coughs> so we're starting a bit later, so I'm just, I'll just give you a, a kind of rough rundown of um, the, the remaining two hours. So um, Sheikh Ali will continue um, speaking about um, the Tisawa section of Moshe Ben Moin um, until 2.45, which will stop for Asr, and then we'll continue around about 3 p.m. Um, till about 3.40 and allow us 20 minutes for conclusions and, and just wrapping up uh, and that should take us to 4 p.m. Um, so that, that's, that's the format. Let's then start with um, the metan, the text of Ibn Ashi, and uh, his two first uh, verses uh, from this chapter that we study, 291 to 92. Remember, it's 22 verses that we try to cover if we're able. وتوبة من كل ذنب يشترم تجب فورا مطلقا ويندم بشرط الإقلاع ونفي الإصرار وليتلاف ممكنا ذات دست خار. What he says here is that the first thing required in this path is توبة. Remember when. <coughs> Yeah. Uh, 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 Imam al junaid rahimahullah said that this, the, all the ways to Allah are closed, are blocked, are locked, except the one that goes, <coughs> that is based, that is, consists in the following, the footsteps of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That means, uh, obeying the Prophet ﷺ. Because by obeying the Prophet ﷺ, we are being Allah ﷺ. Hmm? So if that hasn't happened, Tawbah is required. Therefore, Toba is the mending, islah, the 
repairing the correction of what was not correct before uh, uh, undertaking this path. So Tawbatun min kulli dhambin yushtaram taji. Fawran. Barakallahu fiqh. So this Tawbah is the first element in Tasawuf. And it has to be done immediately. You cannot say, all right, I'll do Tawbah when I go grow older. Or when I get married. Or when I find a job. Or whatever excuse a person can puts to himself. Because you don't know whether that moment is going to arrive. We don't know when the, whether that moment is going to arrive. Whether Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to take us before that. And any delay in the tawbah, in the tawbah, yeah, demands a tawbah for that delay. So, uh, the, then the person has to do tawbah for having done the wrong action and tawbah for having the lane making tawbah for that wrong action. And tawbah means to abandon or turn away from all kind of transgressions, ma'asi in Arabic, with a sincere regret. So it's not only the fact of not doing it, but there has to be in the heart a regret for having done it. And that transgressions can be uh, major, kabair, or can be minor, sagair, can be for external actions can be from inter for internal actions can be against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like for example uh, drinking wine that's uh, transgression against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or against a person when uh, uh, we have uh, taken uh, in a wrongly way something that does not, does not belong to us so that is a, a transgression against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and against the rights of that person and it can be of something that we know and it can be about something that we don't know that we've done it the fact of not knowing it does not excuse the person or exonerate the person from its uh, wrongdoing and its consequence. <coughs> so which are the conditions of of uh, of, of, taqwa, of uh, tawbah, sorry. The conditions of, of tawbah is stopping doing the action. So, for example, if a person is involved into drinking wine or committing some kind of uh, uh, thing that is an uh, a transgression against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doesn't matter. For example, backbiting back somebody. First, he has to stop. It's not, okay, let me finish my glass of wine, then I do tawbah. Or let me tell you the whole story about this guy, and then I do tawbah. No, you stop there. Khala in Arabic. Stop. 
then have the sincere intention of never doing it again. Hmm? That means that I stop doing it with the intention of never repeating it again. Or not now because I'm going to uh, uh, some kind of dhikr, I'm going to stop. And then tomorrow I'll again I'll... No. The intention should be that I don't want to do it again. Otherwise, it does not fulfill the conditions of Tawbah. It's not true Tawbah. <coughs> and uh, it has to, if it has been the rights of a third person, he has to um, repair that uh, damage caused to people, property or people, honor, etc., etc. Like, uh, for example, if, if it is money taken uh, wrongly from a person by different ways, uh, it can be uh, uh, that, that somebody has deceived another person to sell him a good that he knew he was in bad state, or any kind of, uh, of transaction in which the rights of the other person have been damaged or his honor. He has to repair that. How? By giving back the money to that person or giving back the, 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 the good that he has taken from that person, the property he has taken from that person. Or he has uh, 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 damaged his honor, honor by speaking bad about him because the, uh, the, the honor of every Muslim is haram to every Muslim. Then he has to ask him for forgiveness. Otherwise, the Tawbah is not fulfilled. And uh, in this point, we see how dangerous and serious is the fact of speaking bad about others. Because how do you repair it? You have to go to that person and tell him sorry. And that's not an easy thing. That's not an easy thing. And the tongue is, and the Prophet he showed it to us in a hadith, when he held his tongue with his two fingers, saying that that is one of the things that will take people to the fire. May Allah forgive all of us. <coughs> And is uh, unfortunately something very widespread uh, among the Muslims. So this tawbah is the first step in this uh, uh, science of tasawwuf. And the uh, evidence of it is uh, very numerous in the Quran and the Hadith. I can mention some ayat of the Quran. Um, Ask forgiveness, or do tawbah to your Lord. Sorry, make tawbah to Allah, every one of you, believers, so perhaps you will be successful. Or, astaghfiru rabbakum, thumma tubu ilayh. Ask forgiveness from your Lord, and then make tawbah to Him. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu, tubu ila Allah tawbatan nasuha. Or you have Iman or you, you believe, make a sincere tawbah to Allah. 